Good morning, GMS. I'm Adeline. And I'm Abe. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of October 25th, 2021. Yearbooks are on sale at yearbookforever.com. There's a link on the GMS homepage. Current price is $35. The price does increase as the year progresses. Remember, the back drive that runs on the west side of the school in the football field is not to be used between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. It is special transport as well. It is for special transport as well as delivery vehicles. So please respect this rule. October is Bullying Pre Prevention Month. So if you see someone being bullied or you are being bullied yourself, make sure to tell a trusted adult. Also, do not react to the bully. Sometimes that is what they want. If you are being bullied on an electronic device or cyber bullied, Try to block the bully and don't respond to them. Students, if your Chromebook needs repaired or replaced, have a parent fill out the form on GMS on the GMS website. Click the parent tab and click to, on device repair. If your child is renting a device, please remind them to not remove the protective case. If damage occurs without the school issued protective case intact, the school insurance policy is null and void. Now, let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I'm Evelyn Forster here with 8th grade special education instructor, Mrs. Aldridge. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Good. Would you like to start by telling us a bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I've been at Greenwood Middle School 30 years. This is my 30th year. I spent a year at Franklin High School prior to that. Um, my daughter is Mrs. Barr, and a lot of people don't know that. And I live on a farm. Cool. <laughs> what made you want to be a teacher? When did I want to be a teacher? Well, what made you want to be a teacher? Uh, my teachers. Um, my third and fourth grade teachers were very instrumental in my life and were there for me, and they made me really want to be teachers. That sounds great. Yeah. What are some of your favorite hobbies? Well, um, I love going camping. Um, we do a lot of ATVing and ATV trips, and my husband and I ride a motorcycle. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite show and or movie? Uh, that would be hard to say, but I'm addicted to the ID channel, Investigative Discovery, and I'm also addicted to HGTV, anything on HTTV is my favorite. <laughs> okay. Last question. What is the weirdest thing you've seen a student do? Oh, I debated on telling this story, but um, many, many, many years ago, probably 27 years ago, I had a student get up on his knees in his chair, and he was wiggling around, and I couldn't figure out what he was doing. And after class, another boy told me that there was something on the floor, and I looked back, and I said, oh, that's just a Tootsie Roll. And the boy bent down and he smelled it and he said, Mrs. At that time it was Baxter. Mrs. Baxter, that is no Tootsie Roll. Yes, the young man had gone to the restroom and dropped it out onto the floor. So that was probably the weirdest thing that ever happened to me in my career. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. No, it was not fun. <laughs> Must have been worse to clean up, though. Yes. I, I called the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Aldridge. Have a great week. Thank you. 
Hello, welcome to the Top Trending, where we share the top and weird trending stories of the week. I'm Maya. And I'm Lillian. Let's get started with number three. According to Doggone News, Kim Waller was trying to get some footage of an elephant herd in a steep path of the Mahalai Riverbed in the game reserve of Botswana, but instead he got footage of a stranded baby elephant being helped up a cliff by herds of elephants. Wall Hunter says while the Mahalai River only flows for a few months of the year, there's plenty of water to be found underground. In late August, Wall Hunter was searching in the area in hopes of seeing the elephants in action. Number two. According to Doggo News, with just one correct answer out of 43 quintillion possible combinations, it is not surprising that most people spend days, if not months, trying to solve the Rubik's Cube. However, don't tell that to Speed Keeper Atharva Arvat, the eight-year-old from Bangalore, India just to double to the new Guinness World Record by solving three of the uh, three by three rotating puzzles in one minute and 30 seconds. He began training in early 2021 after his school went online due to COVID-19 pandemic. Atharva says, I believe loving what you do makes training towards achieving your goals easier. He is already working towards completing the challenge in less than a minute. Number one, according to Doggo News, a pig-faced shark found in the Mediterranean seas becomes an overnight sensation. On August 15, 2021, a shark that has a pig of a face was retrieved off the waters of Elba Island. Unsurprisingly, pictures of the animal were posted on Elba Island app Facebook page on September 3, 2021, have caused a stir worldwide. Angular rough sharks and or pig face are common in the eastern Atlantic Ocean from Norway to South Africa, including the entire Mediterranean Sea. The sharks, the sharks which fed on worms, crustaceans, and mollusks can be found at the depths of between 200 and 2,200 feet. This fish is quite frequent in our waters. It's commonly called pig fish because when it comes out of the water, it emits a kind of grunt. Yuri Tibertos, owner of the Elba Aquarium, told the Tuscan Media News. That's all for today. Hi, I'm Lincoln and welcome to GMS Sports. For Monday, October 25th, 2021, we will be having 6th grade girls basketball at 5 p.m. at Tryon Middle School. For Thursday, October 28th, 2021, we will be having 6th grade girls basketball versus Indian Creek at home at 5.30 p.m. That's all for sports. Bye!